Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I wanted to clarify how to run the demo project for the top-down 2D crash course. So in this video I'm going to show exactly how to recreate these steps you see up here. So first off, if you're trying to download the entire project, then we're going to be using demoproject.unity package. So for patrons, you can go ahead and download this. And as you can see, I already have it saved to my desktop. So now that we have the demo project, we'll need to start a new URP core project. So let's go ahead and hit new. And then we're doing 2D URP. This just means that the project is set up to use Unity's universal vendor pipeline. So I'm going to create this with a new name. So I'll call this Crash Course Demo. And I'll just save it in my Unity Tutorials folder. So let's go ahead and create it. Just going to hit OK to this pop-up. OK, and now we have our project loaded up. So the next thing we need to do is to import the project files. So that's the demo project.unity package. So just double click on that and you'll get this importer to come up. So all the files for the project are going to be inside of here, including the scripts. So let's import that. OK, and if we jump to the console, you'll see that there are a few error messages because we are missing a few packages that you can get in the Unity package manager. So we need to go to window package manager. Up here at the top, change from Packages in Project to Unity Registry. And then let's get Cinemachine and Import System. So Cinemachine, click Install. That's the package used for Follow Camera and many other camera-based features. And then we need Import System, which is a replacement for the old Unity Import System. So let's install that. Okay, now when you install the Unity input system, it'll give you a message that you would need to restart the editor in order for the input system to actually be active. So let's just go ahead and hit yes to that. Okay, and we can close out the package manager. Let's go ahead and maximize the screen now. You can see the error messages have gone away. So let's go to project scenes and open up the test level. So here you can see the demo from the video. Let's go ahead and go to game view and you'll see that it's kind of glitching out here that we got an error message at the top. So what we need to do is change this to uh, 1280 by 720 resolution so that it's at a resolution that the camera can work with since we're using a uh, pixel perfect camera if we check the camera there. Now the last thing we need for the project to work is to have Text Mesh Pro imported. So when I was running it before I got a little pop up to say to import it. Yeah, you can see that as soon as I hit play, this line connects with the player. It's trying to create that kind of object, but we need to import the essentials here. So just hit play, get hit by a slime, and then we can hit import TMP essentials. As an alternative, I think you could go to window text mesh pro and import TMP essential resources. I haven't done it that way, but I imagine that's probably the same thing. Okay, so we have the message that the text mesh pro has been imported. Let's go ahead and hit play. And with WASD, I can move the character around. Let's uh, get hit a couple times. You can see the slimes have their physics knockback. And with left click on the mouse, we can swing the sword, which is uh, basically where we were at with the demo. So that is everything you need to do to add the project on your computer so that you can run it, test it, edit it, use the source code however you wish. So that's going to be it for this video. I've been Chris. Thanks for watching to the end. Once again, the demo is available right here on Patreon. I'll put a link to the post in the video description.